If you're an Indianapolis Colts fan, I am very sorry to inform you, but your Colts are an absolute joke of a team. Last night on Monday Night Football, the Colts took on the Steelers in Indy, and it was quite the embarrassing game, but hey, what do you expect from these two teams? First, let's start off talking about Jeff Saturday. Yes, yes, yes. It was very epic that Jeff Saturday tweeted this, talking trash about the Raiders, and then just a few weeks later, became the head coach of the Colts, and his first game was against the Raiders, and he won. Yes, very cool, very cool. But now that wave is past, your little, ooh, I won, I tweeted this, blah, blah, it's done. Like, you're done. Now you're getting faced with real shit, and the way you coach against the Pittsburgh Steelers, man, I, I'm seriously concerned with Jeff Saturday's brain. It, with how he coached, he should be in a mental hospital. I may be exaggerating a little bit, but I, honestly, the, the end of the game, not really. You'll, you'll see. And also, I put in these highlights because everyone knows Jeff Saturday's second game was against the Eagles. He lost, barely, he had a chance. It was a fine game. First, I want to look at the Colts' first drive, and the second play of the game for the Colts, Matt Ryan was intercepted. This interception's actually comical. He has two Colts players standing next to each other, and he somehow throws it to the Pittsburgh defender. How can you not find at least one of your guys, bro? Who just threw that interception? Was it me? Huh? What? This lady right here is wheezing, but I have a heart attack. She cannot believe what she just saw, and I can't either. Like, look, he threw it at two Colts, and he was intercepted. I mean, he's also throwing it kind of low, and there's a defender right there. Just shouldn't have thrown it. Anyway, if you can't believe it, it gets worse. So the Steelers get the ball just outside the 20. They take a monster sack and then another sack on third and 12, putting them outside of field goal range. All right, now we're at the good shit. But good shit, I mean, how, no one's brain was working in this chain of events. I, I can't even, you can't comprehend what you're about to see. So starting off, the Colts at fourth and two with five minutes left in the third quarter. Kick a field goal, but the Steelers are offside, so they get a first down. Yup. Let's go. a boy. a boy. We'll get you back in soon. First down, let's go. Hey, Mike Tomlin's had him. Surprised this fool hasn't retired yet, bro. I'm joking, but he has been the Steelers coach for a long ass time. And I, you know, I like Tommy. Besides, when he tries to trip the other team with the Colts' new set of down, they continue to suck and are forced with a third and goal. And the ball is incomplete, but a flag is thrown and it's P.I. on the Steelers. He doesn't even know. If you watch him, he's celebrating. He's like, let's go. But he has no idea. He's called call for P.I. on the one yard line. Obviously, the Steelers aren't feeling it. Mike Tomlin's given that I need a blunt face right now and <laughs> he just wants to go home. It was called because he put his arm around him before the ball got there. I mean, it didn't really even help him. Why? You, just what a waste. So the Colts got first to go from the one. Nothing bad. Ha this can't get any worse, right? <laughs> Except it does as the Colts fumble the ball on first and goal and it's recovered by the Steelers. This went from the Colts about to kick a field goal and then having third and goal but then going to kick another field goal but it getting brought back and now they fumbled? What? This Colts fan's regretting everything. He's like, oh, shit, I got work tomorrow, too. Oh, no. What an embarrassing fumble, but he's looking like Melvin Gordon out here with those butter hands. And Ryan, bro, I mean, I'm a fan of Matt Ryan because I like the Falcons, but now it's like, eh, for me. And how, how do you not recover that, bro? You're on it. You're on it, bro. You need... Uh, dude, that's... The Colts, the Colts made a joke of a drive there, and it gets worse. Anyway, fast forward to later in the game. Some scoring happens. Pittsburgh scores a touchdown, gets a two-point conversion. Pickens, it's a sweep! So the Colts have the ball down by seven. Two minutes left of the game. They have three timeouts. It's fourth and three. Kind of a make-it-or-break-it moment for them. Matt Ryan in the shotgun takes a snap, drops back, looks, throws, and gets the first down barely so now everyone's just kind of getting up after the play if you look time's just trickling off the clock and no one really has any sense of urgency and if you look they let almost 30 seconds run off and then the next play matt ryan goes down with a huge sack for the pittsburgh steelers and no one calls a timeout just saturday what do you got three timeouts he's let he wants this game to be over but buddy needs to get home for some reason he's oh bro this is so much worse than the lions i feel for all the colts fans and the lions wasn't even that bad this this is bad. On two plays, they let almost a minute run off the clock and they need a touchdown. Now it's second and 17. They have three timeouts still. What is going on? On second and long, Matt Ryan again in the shotgun drops back but doesn't see anything, steps up in the pocket and takes off. Going for the first down, but he stopped short. It really looks like if Mans would have just ran at the first down marker straight on in a dead straight line, he would have got it, but he falls short. So now the Colts are faced with a third and short and they're just letting this time trickle off, bro. They're, they're letting it go. No one's calling a timeout. 
Jeff Saturday's brain is off. Someone turned his ass off. We're out of battery. I, you, you can't make it up. Even the announcers are laying into him. Like, what is going on? Why are they not calling a timeout? I mean, I get it that you don't want Pittsburgh to have time in case you score a touchdown, but like, you you can run that time off later. Like, you don't need to do it yet because you don't even know. You're not even close to a touchdown yet. Down, and they have got to take a timeout here, I would imagine. But they're not. Wow. After the failed third down, they do take a timeout. Matt Ryan scrambles on fourth and three, tosses the ball up, and is incomplete, sealing the win for the Steelers. The Colts leave it two timeouts on the board. Mr. Respectful Tomlin then flips his cap to Saturday, saying, thank you for the win, you sold the game. And that's it, Mike Tomlin and Kenny Pickett's got an easy dub after Jeff Saturday, and the Colts sold the game and embarrassed themselves on Monday Night Football. And also, that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoy my content, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. And once again, thanks for watching.